doesn't make any sense. I shouldn't be able to perform as I do and look this way for such a long period of time. It's been a while. We've been waiting for these results and they're finally in. After further review, we have, find out, we have found out and come to the conclusion that Nikki Rod is indeed a natural athlete. That means for years prior, months prior, I've been competing against beating the best guys in the grappling world, the best enhanced guys in the grappling world as a natural athlete. I understand, truly impressive. It's almost hard to believe until you see, see these results. Something more specifically, Derek said I had a high, a high luteinizing hormone, something LH, I'm not a doctor. LH is uh, the prefix or the two letters that they use to, to indicate it. But a high LH essentially was, uh, the body was giving my testes a signal to produce massive amounts of, of testosterone. I come to the realization that I kind of did this on purpose. I bust a lot of nuts for a lot of years to keep my body producing testosterone. In the competitive era of sports, um, a lot of like fighters, grapplers, wrestlers, etc., tend to hold their load. They wanna be like that raging bull before competition. I do the opposite. I bust nuts all the way to and through competition. And I think that plays a factor into, into why my natural testosterone is so high. Besides that, the fact is that I am a natty rod. We also found, that, found out that I'm a fatty rod. I have a bit of a high cholesterol. Going into the blood test, you're supposed to do like a 12 hour fast. Um, I didn't do quite 12 hours, maybe it was like a eight hour or something. Um, I smashed some cookies and some, and some ground beef the night before, so I'm sure that played a part into, uh, into the high cholesterol or even the high like hemoglobin. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but all I can tell you, your boy's natty, natty rod all day. I produce high testosterone, high amounts, so I'm on the, on the higher end of the spectrum. I have, I have thick blood, so your boy's got some cholesterol issues probably gotta take care of. And yeah, I think what else contributed to the, to the high cholesterol kind of deal is um, I've been lifting and eating like a bodybuilder for seven to eight years. Now what that means is, not only am I in the gym putting the work, but I'm, Throughout my day, I'm eating my body weight in protein and maybe not the most beneficial way, maybe because I'm, I, my diet mainly consists of red meats, right? I'm doing, I'm doing uh, like an 80-20 ground beef and everything else is like ribeyes, uh, flank steaks, high red meat diet. I think that was beneficial towards gaining muscle and I, I continue to believe that, but maybe for the long run isn't, isn't the best option to just be smashing as much red meat as possible. I mean, I remember days where I'd have, I'd have literally like five pounds of, of red meat and um, you know, all with the intention of just gaining muscle, putting size on. That way, I can I can not only look good, feel good, but I can I can produce, I can compete in practice day in and day out. My diet previously was mainly focused on on performance. I'm eating my body weight and protein just so I can get enough fuel for the next day's work ahead. Now, in the long run, I'll definitely get another blood test. You know, further down the line, I'll adjust my diet accordingly. I believe I was doing some things that would definitely boost my uh, my cholesterol. My cholesterol, specifically, my LDL was the only thing that was uh, was a bit above range. And I'm sure it had a little bit to do with me not doing the complete 12 hour fast, but I do, most of, the, most of my diet is for performance, right? So like I was saying, the high red meat, but I also do a lot of sodium. Uh, I'm talking like close to 1200 milligrams in the morning, post-practice, and maybe later on in the day, another, another thousand milligrams. So throughout the day, besides my food, I'm supplementing about 3000 milligrams of sodium just to get through the, just to get the most out of my two workout, workouts that I do a day. A response to the haters. There's many people on social media and whatnot that uh, just couldn't believe that I'm a natural athlete. And I understand. I mean, I have like close to 20 inch biceps. I have a chest six pack at 235 pounds, six foot three, faster than lightning, more endurance than a goddamn gazelle in the wild. It doesn't make any sense. I shouldn't be able to perform as I do and look this way for such a long period of time as a natural athlete. But God himself has blessed me with this high testosterone and high cholesterol. 
but everything's a balance. So Gordon has accused me of both, of both greasing and using anabolic steroids in our competitions. Well, I was grease checked before and after our match, so I passed that one. And then we have the king of all natty or nots, Mr. Derek from More Plates, More Dates, proved my natty status uh, throughout this Merrick Health drug panel. Now, I feel as if you know these uh, accusations are a bit of a projection of his personal grief, maybe his personal guilt that he has upon himself. Um, but for the long future, I plan to remain a natural athlete and continue to compete and win at the highest level. So as dirty as our sport is, I would like to give a shout out to the other natural athletes, guys like Ty and Cade Rotolo, Roberto Jimenez, even my brother J-Rod, a group of natural athletes. I just think it's important for the youth to understand that you don't need to abuse anabolics in order to get the physique or get the performance that you need. Ultimately, you need to make better lifestyle choices that help guide you towards your success. Eating for performance, sleeping correctly, having, an, a, having a correct schedule, that way you can, do, you can hit all the markers necessary to keep that high performance going. For the up and coming kid, even the guy that's maybe in high school and, and training to, to become maybe a professional grappler, I would say definitely hold off on the gear is not necessary. Although it'll give you short term uh, benefits, there is some long term costs that I, I've heard about. Now, if you're looking to gain muscle while grappling, one of the hardest things to do is do an hour of cardio in a day and then later on that night hit some weights and then trying to build this muscle over a long period of time. It's very tough, it's very grueling, but it's all about consistency. When I started uh, jujitsu, I was roughly 215. Now I'm like, I'm like 235. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a bit fatter now, but um, gaining, if you can gain one or two pounds of muscle every year, you're doing something right. And besides the lifting, it has a lot to do with the diet. Got to eat your body weight and protein every single day to keep gaining that muscle. You guys are looking to get yoked naturally. I'll show you just how Natty Rod did it. Check out the perfect lifting program on BJJ Fanatics. All right, real quick shout out to Gordon Ryan. Appreciate you, uh, you know, claiming that I'm a gearhead. Now we all know that I'm natural. In addition to that, you know, we, pr we, found, we found some underlying issues, maybe with my diet, maybe with my uh, genetic predisposition towards high cholesterol. But nevertheless, Natty Rod, but also Fatty Rod. Well, now that you guys believe I'm natural, uh, there's also the, the heart attack risk, right? You guys are, are going to be worried about me because of high cholesterol and whatnot. High cholesterol ro runs in my family, right? Dad's got it. Sister's got it. Um, so I guess from, from like a... I kind of should have seen this coming, right? But again, as a natural athlete, I just never had, I never seen the urge to get blood work done. So I'm really happy I got this done and I appreciate Derek for giving me, you know, his opinion and his analysis of this. Uh, I will definitely take this information, but no need to fear. I'm gonna work with a nutritionist. I'm gonna figure out what's going on, get, every, get all my levels checked again and get everything where it needs to be. So again, if you guys wanna know why I got fat, check out Nikki Rowdy on Instagram. And uh, like and subscribe to B Team YouTube. All right, I like to talk, so, talk a little bit more about busting nuts. All right, my luteinizing hormone was 8.8 .8 on, a, on a scale that tips at 8.6. Now, what this means is that my body was telling my balls to be like, produce as much testosterone as you can. And I think that's because I'm a habitual nut buster, right? I bust nuts all day, two, three, four times. I mean, probably in a day I'm busting like three nuts and you could get high LH2 if you bust your nuts. You want high LH, you want high testosterone, empty your balls, I'm telling you. Keep, you it's, it's, like, it's like this, right? If you just keep busting and you're, you're you're eliminating all of your body's natural testosterone. Your body's gonna be like, oh damn, where's, where's the testosterone at? I have to make more. So if you just keep unloading that, uh, you keep unloading that clip, your body's gonna be like, oh man, we gotta always keep producing more testosterone because this guy keeps busting, he keeps using it. So that's my advice. Get high natural tests by busting a lot of nuts. All right, I think that's a wrap. Nut has been busted. Straight up nut buster. <laughs>